the easiest way I found to do it is to go ahead and make sure it's clear. Yep. I lock that slide back. You got the two little takedown levers on the other side. You got one on this side yep. and one on this side. I hold them down okay. and I turn that slide stop loose and I pull the trigger. And you can yep. see it's done coming loose. Yep. That's how I used to do the 22. Well, and I, <coughs> that was tight from where we just shot it. But you got to hold those down. Okay. <laughs> pull right apart. Pull right apart. <coughs> The spring, it'll show you, you know, the narrow end goes to the back. Just push it with your finger, pull him right out. And I'm afraid this is a 40 caliber brush. Now that's 45. I like to put it through. A lot of people just yank it back through. I like to go through the same way every time. It takes a little bit longer. I like to push him through. Take it off. And it really doesn't need this every time, because, unless I mean you're shooting thousands of rounds. Because what yeah. that does, that's just going <coughs> to get any of the lead and any of the corrosion out of the rifling. I've got a mop in here. I like to use these mops <coughs> and put a patch over the top of them. I've got some pre-lead patches here that I used. You put solvent on it, or I do, but. Ain't much in there, but I've got I've got a bunch. I've got a case in there. And I can put it over at mop, see? Mm -hmm. Go down through there one time. You see it's that much fouling lead and stuff. This is kind of a pre lube like I say, a pre lube patch. And I'm all about using them again. I'll take the, the back, see I pushed it through yep. that way. I'll take that side and I'll clean right here at the loading ramp. <coughs> Get all these looks, crannies, and crevices. Hey, Henry. Hey, hey, hey. So, ain't got many, I'm about out, looks like. You get a lot of carbon build up right here on the inside of your slide. I like to do that. Check it. Plunger button and your striker. You got a good stout spring in there. You shouldn't ever, you, I mean, you can take it down. You can pull this down, take that back plate out, and take a firing, the striker mechanism and firing pin and all that out. Not necessary. Just make sure it's clean. If you got anything, you can blow it, blow it out a little bit. Basically, I'm just trying just to, to wipe it down. This is just a little old miner. After we shot it, get any of that carbon and all that off of it. And I found this. I'm not sold on it. This is Outer's Tri-Care Gun Claw. And it, it comes in a little full pack. I picked this up at Walmart for like less than four bucks the other night and it makes a heck of a, a rag, but it's pretty old. And you can see. Yeah, it makes a nice sheen on the Yeah. Maybe more than what it needs. But that's allegedly going to put a good little protective coat over it. I'm more than anything that's wiping him down. And certainly since they like it, they like to run pretty dry. You don't do a lot of lubrication on the on oh, block, you know. I got to thinking this micro I didn't know about this. This is another experiment that may or may not catch on. But I'm always, you know, when I get old rags and old t shirts and stuff. Yep. You get a you get a excess a little bitty fibers and stuff and this is supposed to pick them up so I use them for just cleaning my car with but maybe not that exact kind but, but see you can see the fibers it's got on that yeah. let's see if this thing will take them off <laughs> apparently it did so maybe it's something's gonna catch on yep. not this not this for, cool. for house cleaning and I mean that was 
a two pack of them was 88 cents at Walmart. Wow. And you should be able to throw them in the washer and wash them. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. They seem to be said about having a nice oily rag to wipe your guns down with. Now. I'll show you what I do. I got a little thing of rim oil right here. I take and I put one little drop, and that was way more than what I meant to put. And I just rub it in <coughs> that barrel like that and get the excess off. And since that's got that bushing in there, it's just to let it run up against that bushing. Drop him in. Spring in. And I'm gonna show you the only, and, and you don't need to do this every time, but a very light coat of oil on these rails. That. Four places. And you can down there where that striker's at, but I don't. Down in here. But so the four rails. Yeah, I mean, that's your. And you can see, I just took the, the excess off. Slide right back together. Sweet. There you go. You got a nice little. You ain't got to worry about cleaning it when you get home. I mean, it, that wasn't the, the best, and certainly. If you post that, there are a lot of people say, oh, I could have done. But I mean, we shot what? 25, 30 rounds through it. I shot more than that with it. We shot about, what, about four or five clips through it. You shot with it. Yeah, we shot them six, though. Shot one, two. You shot a couple, I shot a couple, Ben shot one. Yeah, we were shooting six, you're right. I think 34 rounds is what we shot. But any rate, thank you, brother. That ought to do you till the next time. All right. Tom, tell us what we're shooting today here. Apparently it's a Glock 30. Glock 30. A 30S. Don't know what the S stands for. It's it, it's a slim, if you look at the, okay. it, it's about, honestly, about a little more than an eighth of an inch slimmer than the Glock 30. So it's it's a slimmer version of the Glock. It's lighter too, of the Glock 30. We're gonna see how it does. All right. You're shooting at a bottle over there, okay. Wow. Got it that time. What did you have to do to hit it? Just put that up above the, the sights. I didn't know where it was going. It don't have near the recoil that I was anticipating. Really? Not, not bad recoil at all? Bitty package. If I even scared you were shooting left. I hit it one time. Yep. Yep. That was out my last one. And I had to it. I had to pull up. And you had to shoot above it? Yeah, well I just I just canted the the front side up a little bit. Uh yeah, I was hitting here. I was just hitting bad low initially. I think we can dial it in. We'll load up let you shoot it some. We'll are are there again. are there things you can do to change the sights on these? No, but that, I'm not saying that the gun's off. I'm saying more than likely I'm off because I'm okay. older. Okay, let's try shooting. I'm, Let me I'm try learning it that I Excellent. don't. Please, the trigger. Got it. Wow, first shot.